Hi everyone, welcome to this tutorial video. My name is Carmen from New Leaf Designs and in this video I am showing you how to do Lori's Twisty Bind Off. It is a great bind off for ribbing. I'll show you up close in a bit. It is created by Lorraine Legrand and I will link to her Ravelry page in the description box below. Um, it is a great bind off for ribbing that stays very stretchy but does not flare outwards when when unstretched. So you can see in the unstretched state it is just very clean, very neat. Whereas uh, before I used to do Jeannie's uh, surprisingly stretchy bind off and when unstretched it would always flare outwards just a little bit, uh, which does not matter if you're wearing the actual item. Um, but you know, if you, <laughs> if you care about how it looks in its unstretched state, then Lori's Twisty Bind Off is a great alternative. Um, I've used it on all of my socks since I knit my socks toe up. So you end with the ribbing and it is just very, very stretchy. Um, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to do it. I am going to bind off on this project. Um, so that's on circular needles. You can also do this with straight needles, double pointed needles, um, you know, flexi flips things. Um, that is all fine as long as you're knitting off of one needle onto a second needle you are totally fine and it does not matter it does not differ from circular needles to straight needles to double pointed needles so I am just going to show you on circular needles and it will be the same um, the only thing um, that you'll have to take into account if you do it on circular needles is that you might need uh, a short needle or a separate circular needle um, to do the bind off with because um, it's called Lori's twisty bind off and that means that your right hand needle if you're knitting right handed it's a, it's the needle that you're knitting onto that needle you, you're gonna have to twist it so either uh, perhaps you're working on magic loop and you can pull it a little bit out of your work so you have a little bit of your needle to work with or you can just take a separate needle um, and with straight needles and DPMs you won't have this issue at all. Um, I am showing you this on one by one ribbing, which means knit one purl one ribbing. You can also do this on knit two purl two ribbing or any other variation. There is one step you need to do for a knit stitch and then one step you need to do for a purl stitch. Um, so in whichever order you, you have your ribbing, you knit the bind off accordingly. For the knit stitches, you can knit, a, knit them through the front loop. Um, that means a regular knit stitch. You can knit them through the back loop. That is all up to you. Uh, I usually knit them through the front loop, but if you have ribbing where you are knitting the knit stitches through the back loop and have them twisted, it, it looks better if you do the bind off through the back loop as well. So let's get started. Here is my project that I want to bind off and here I have my extra needle. This can be any type of needle and I am starting with a knit stitch and I am knitting that stitch as I normally would. Um, again, you want to knit through the front leg if you've done that for your uh, ribbing and you want to knit through the back leg if that's what you've done for your ribbing. So from the second stitch onwards we are going to look at what the next stitch is. This is a purl stitch so now comes the sequence for a purl stitch. We are going to be twisting our stitch 
that we have on this needle right here and to do that you want to have your yarn in the opposite hand um, if you are knitting English style um, then sometimes you are twisting your yarn along with it and we don't want that so just take your yarn in your left hand and now for the purl stitch uh, we want to be twisting our stitch towards us um, so like this we bring the tip towards us and then you turn all the way until your needle is back in position we put our yarn forward insert put the yarn around and purl that stitch and now we take the knit stitch over the purl stitch bring a yarn backward the next stitch is a knit stitch for the knit stitch we want to twist our needle away from us so like this until it is back in position you knit the stitch and bring the first stitch over the next stitch is a purl stitch so we bring our yarn forward and I'm going to tell you how I remember to twist the needle toward me or away from me and that is for a purl stitch you want your your needles already pointing towards you because that is how you are going to be inserting into that purl stitch so you follow that motion and twist it like that then we purl that stitch and pass the first slip the first stitch over and then for the knit stitch we bring our yarn back again and for the knit stitch we insert we would insert our needle like that so that is away from us so again we are following that motion and turning our needle if your loop is getting a little bit big like that then just tug on it to make it smaller now if you're having some difficulties because you're not used to holding your yarn in your uh, left hand then just um, if you're knitting English style like this then you want to drop your yarn and just hold it to the back with your left hand twist your needle and then take up that yarn and knit the stitch as you would so hold the yarn out of the way twist your needle and then knit that stitch where is our yarn there so that's if if you think this is confusing because what you want to avoid is to twist your yarn with the needle and if you're knitting continental style then this will be easier for you because your yarn is out of the way as it is so the only thing you have to remember is for a purl stitch to twist towards you and for a knit stitch to twist away from you you can also um, remember that as purl stitch counterclockwise and for a knit stitch clockwise and that is how you bind off with Lori's twisty bind off and it will look like this so from the top it'll look a bit zigzaggy but that means it will cinch back in once it is not stretched and it will just look very nice.
I hope you enjoyed this tutorial video. Please do let me know in the comments below and please also like this video and subscribe to my channel if you'd like to see more. Thank you very much.